and welcome to the Wilderspool Stadium here in Warrington as Hull, led by Steve McNamara, take the field for yet another very important Stones Bitter Championship match. The midday rain has uh, mercifully passed over Warrington now and conditions really just about perfect. The pitch will be heavy and it's been quite well sanded, but um, for this time of year, conditions not at all bad. And Hull come into this game against the league leaders, who are very keen, of course, to maintain their position. Warrington do lead the league table with Bradford in hot pursuit and Wigan lurking in third place with three games in hand on, on Warrington. And so it's vital for them that they defeat Hull today. They would expect to. Hull 12th and 11th in the table and not a particularly good away record, but we've seen Hull win the last two matches over here in Lancashire. Fine victory at Salford a fortnight ago and then a rather less impressive victory at, Sol at Swinton in the Challenge Cup first round last week. The whole side still shows the absence of Richard Gay and James Grant who missed the cup tie at Swinton last week and uh, much the same lineup uh, as we look at it. Let's have a look at the whole side. Gary Nolan is at fullback, Paul Eastwood and Paul Sterling on the wings with Rob Danby and Brandon Greenwood in the centres. Jeff Doyle and Daz Hasler the halves. Russ Walker, Mike Dixon, Tim Street, the front row, and Danny Dive, Steve McNamara, the second row, John Sharp at loose forward. Rob Nolan and Dean Busby, the two subs. The Warrington side, formidable-looking lineup. Jonathan Davis missing from the side. He's playing in the World Sevens in Sydney, while Great Britain have uh, been rather unsuccessful. But it's a, a strong lineup, very well marshalled side by coach Brian Johnson, very strong in defence, and with Greg Mackey, of course, the former Hull FC halfback captain in the side uh, plenty of ingenuity and organization and attack so let's have a look at the Warrington lineup Lee Penny is at fullback Yestin Harris a very exciting 17 year old from Oldham still a schoolboy playing on the right wing with uh, Mark Forster probably approaching the veteran stage now on the left wing Alan Bateman and Rob Myler in the centers Kevin Ellis Greg Mackey the halves Craig Teitzel John Thursfield and Bob Jackson solid looking front row Paul Darvish and Mike Gregory in the second row and Kelly Shelford along with Mackie, the mainspring of the Warrington attack at loose forward. David Elliott and Mark Hilton are the two subs. And today's referee, Mr. Jim Smith of Halifax. It's going to be Hull to kick off. As I say, conditions are a little bit sticky underfoot, but uh, that rain has gone, and local weather forecaster alongside us here reckons that we've probably seen the last of it today. It's taken by Ellis. Finds Derbyshire, met by Mike Dixon. He's back in the side, that's the one notable change from last week. Mike Dixon recovered from injury in for Andy Dearlove. Mike Gregory, how good it is to see Mike Gregory fully fit again. He's had toils over the last three or four seasons. It's a big run by Teitzel, a former Illawarra Steelers player, now Gregory again. Well met by Steve McNamara. Played on the 30-metre line, Shelford. Probing close to the ruck. Knocked down by Dixon and Deve. Last tackle. Greg Mackey for clearance kick taken by Gary Nolan. Well judged. Gary Nolan, a nice break by Gary Nolan. Lovely step. Great return by the fullback. Takes play eight metres inside the Warrington half. Sterling goes to acting halfback. He runs off from there. Tackle by three Warrington men. Dixon is at acting half. Street is the decoy. John Sharp hits it up on the short side. Strong tackle by Derbyshire. Hasler. Chips behind the Warrington defence. And Harris allows the ball to go into touch. Good work in the first couple of minutes of the match by Hull. Solid defence as Warrington took the ball from the kickoff and then a good attack launched by a fine run from Gary Nolan. So Mackey to feed this scrum. Harris off the wing. Oh, steps around Doyle and gets away. It's a race now. Chased by Rob Danby and taken down just over the halfway line. But what a good run by this 17-year-old. Uh, Jeff Doyle, one of the strongest uh, defenders in the whole side and Harris danced around him and then sped away and then Hull penalised rightly I think for holding down 
So Warrington with a chance to put the ball into touch. And they'll restart 30 metres from the whole line with Thurstfield. Jackson just coming back into the Warrington side after injury. Warrington without Gary Chambers, the very promising prop forward who was in outstanding form early in the season. Now Teitzel, Gregory, that looked a bit forward to... to Rob Myler. Now a run by Teitzel, tackled by Street and Dive. Ten metres out, Warrington in good attacking position. A bit of a confrontation between Street and Teitzel. Kelly Shelford, meanwhile, ball comes loose and Hull have it. A little bit of over-ambitious by Kelly Shelford. Warrington offside, I think. Teitzel looks a bit shaken up by that collision with Tim Street. He lost his uh, head guard. And now referee Smith calling the two players to go. I think that's very sensible. Certainly a uh, confrontation between the two and then a little bit of eyeballing to eyeballing afterwards but the penalty is awarded for the Warrington Moon offside at the play the ball and Paul Eastwood has this penalty to gain ground for Hull So Mike Dixon to restart, 10 metres inside his own half. Russ Walker hits it up. He's knocked down by Teitzel. Now Danny Dive. Makes good yards, Dive. Bumps off Mike Gregory. It's Hasler to McNamara. Hasler splitting the short side. Gary Nolan takes the ball. A second line of attack. Within 30 metres now, Tim Street. Street takes on Teitzel and Jackson and makes the 20 metre line. It's the last tackle. Hasler. Hasler, a nice long ball to John Sharp. And John Sharp taken with the ball just inside the Warrington 10 metre line. Promising attack by Hull. Warrington have it on the turnover. Offside, that's a lapse of concentration. Danny Dive, who was caught offside a few times at Swinton last week. And having got that uh, good field position, he'll then give it away. Myler been entrusted with the touch kicking. He takes Warrington almost up to the halfway. Very little the way of wind here. In fact, the, the flags are completely limp. <coughs> Mackey, Tietzel, well met by McNamara, Dixon and Doyle. Ellis takes on the defence, almost gets through the tackle of Steve McNamara, but holds on. Mackey, Shelford trying to open up a gap. This is Derbyshire. Guys ball away to Penny, Penny under the post. Good Warrington try. Well worked. And second row, Paul Derbyshire did as much as anybody in that play. Took the tackle. And as he was falling to the floor, got the ball away. And eventually it came to Lee Penny, who, this very promising young fullback, who sped away from the remnants of the whole defence to score the opening points of the match. Warrington ahead 4 0. I make it, we've had uh, seven minutes. And that play starting with uh, Shelford and Mackey changing the direction of the attack in the middle of the field. And finding a willing runner in Derbyshire who made the break and then out of the tackle got the ball away. So, the youngster, Harris, entrusted with the goal-kicking responsibilities. Oh, 
No problems at all. Straightforward kick. Warrington ahead by six. What a sizable Hull contingent. The backs of the Hull players trying to encourage their side and rally them. Kickoff taken by Ellis, now Derbyshire. Who set up that try. Centre from the Wigan area converted successfully to a second row this year. Now Mike Gregory. Bob Jackson, taken by Street, and now Teitzel, looking to turn and offload, this time he's going to be wrestled back, now the ball goes loose, it's picked up by Myler, taken by Sharp and McNamara, Shelford, nice ball to Teitzel. He's put down six metres inside the whole half. It's the last tackle. Title certainly involved in the action. Mackey goes to the air with the kick. Onto Paul Eastwood's wing. Oh, there's a bit of hesitation. The ball comes loose, and it's the sixth tackle. But uh, hesitation between Eastwood and Gary Nolan, and Warrington almost coming in between to pick up the points. Russ Walker from acting halfback. Danby thrown to the floor. John Sharp. Street. Good run by Street. Takes play over the 30 metre line. It's the last tackle though. Back to Eastwood for the kick. Sizes up the options. Puts it down onto Penny. Oh, and the whole chase is outside. Des Hasler very slow to arrive, great run by Penny, still going, gets it inside to Derbyshire, this is the second Warrington try. Tremendous try by Warrington, great work by Lee Penny, what a game he's having, feeling that whole kick through, going across the field and getting on the outside of the whole chases because outside Des Hasler, no one had come, Steve McNamara arrived too late. But I think Roy Simmons would have questions over that chase, certainly. But once Penny got away, he found Derbyshire on his inside. And the, the creator of the first try is the scorer of the second. And Warrington have hit Hull with a double blow in the first 10 minutes of the match. And it's 10-0 with the kick to come. Well, Lee Penny returning the, the compliment. He was on hand to take, take the try set up by Derbyshire. Now he sets one up for his colleague. Warrington playing with the confidence and organisation of league leaders. And Harris with this kick. About five, six metres in from the touchline. Strikes it well, but it's uh, not on target. So the score remains 10-0, but that'll do very nicely for Warrington. Eastwood kicks off. It's taken by Ellis again. This time it picks up the winger Forster. He's well tackled by John Sharp on the 10 metre line. Derbyshire eager for action. Bob Jackson. Taken by Dixon and Hasler. 
Gregory. Well met by Street and Doyle. On the 30 meter line. Now Teitzel. Good tackle by John Sharp down low. Finished off by Walker over the top. Good defense by Hull on this set. It's back to Myler for the kick. Taken by Gary Nolan just outside his 20 meter line. Sets off on a run. Hull slow to acting half back. Hasler having to cover from there. Danby takes the ball up. John Sharp. Makes the halfway line. Devo. Make, almost makes the break, then looks for support, but Warrington man between Dixon and himself. Hasler, Doyle, McNamara standing wide. But a good tackle by Ellis. The last tackle, hole 40 metres out. Back to Doyle. And a kick put into the end goal area. I think that's going to bounce over the dead ball line. So Warrington have the restart on the 20 metre line. Here comes Forster. Taken by John Sharp. Harris. Title this time to hit it up. Taken short of the 40 meter line. Mackey calls play left, kicks through. Gary Nolan has to feel it. That's a good kick. Does well, Gary Nolan. Well, he's done very well. Almost loses it, but does very well to get the 20 meter line. Excellent play by Gary Nolan. Now Sterling from acting halfback. Street meets Teitzel. These two uh, meeting quite often. John Sharp. John Sharp almost makes the break. Hasler takes on the defense himself. Strong run by Hasler. Loses it and attempting to offload to find some support. Wriggling in the tackle, trying to find a, an angle that he could pass from. And in the end, just lost control of it. So Warrington with head and ball at the scrum just inside their own half with a 10-point lead Ellis Penny oh Penny great bit of work by Penny can he keep his feet he's taken by Gary Nolan well got through the the lovely step through between two Hull defenders Gregory taken by Doyle and Walker but Warrington in attacking position again as Mackey takes it first receiver Shelford Ellis Ellis almost gets outside Danby and Eastwood but they manage to hold on Now Shelford run around with Myler. Well, Russ Walker snuffs that out easily. Teitzel again. Last tackle, Warrington just inside the whole 20-meter line. Mackey. Chip through under Paul Sterling. And he, uh, under pressure, collects it safely but only two or three metres from his own line. Gary Nolan running off from acting half, makes a good 12 metres. This time Dive runs. Gets it away to Greenwood. Supporting him. Street. Sharp. McNamara. And he'll work it up almost the halfway. It's the last tackle. How much depth can Eastwood get on this kick? Mack is chasing him. Straight to Harris. Nice step, but well taken by Paul Sterling. Good tackle by the whole winger. Penny. Out to Forster. Forster almost breaks. Hull's midfield tackling. He's going to have to tighten up as these backs bring it across the field. Ellis, good tackle by John Sharp, I think it is. 
but he gives the penalty away for not releasing the man. Warrington play the ball and in fact their forwards hit the ball at full pace. Feature of their game. Mackey, Teitzel, very heavily involved. Maybe well be the forward that Brian Johnson will take off. He's got Mark Hilton, another prop on the bench. Oh, this is a good run by Shelford, probing within eight metres. John Sharp having to hold down. Mike Gregory goes for the line himself. Some pretty feeble hole tackling on his back. Didn't ground it. Some good work by the Hull defenders in the end there, but some shaky defence leading up to that. Mike Gregory got over the line clearly, but fell the wrong way and couldn't ground the ball. Jeff Doyle runs it back for Hull. Outside the 20 meter, outside the 30 meter line. Dixon, McNamara, within eight meters of halfway. John Sharp takes play into the Warrington half. Hull forward starting to make a few yards now. Hasler takes on the defence, out to Sharp, but uh, no one really in support. Doyle, Street on the drop off. Ball to Walker, does well to hold on. Does Hasler, finds a gap. Back to Doyle, and now out to Dive, out to Sterling. Sterling comes inside. Good run by the Hull winger to within 12 metres. The best Hull attack. Dixon acting half. Hasler to the right. Street. Walker. Greenwood. Taken by Ellis. It's the last tackle. Hasler. McNamara kicks through, but a pretty simple take by Myler. But nevertheless, much more promise in that Hull attack. Forster from acting half-back, good, good strong hard tackle by McNamara. Thirstfield, and now Derbyshire hits it up. A great tackle by Doyle. Timed his tackle perfectly, shoulders into the ribcage, lifted him up. Mike Gregory, ball goes loose. Hull have it, Dive. Hasler. Walker. Knocked down by Derbyshire and Jackson. Dixon from acting half. Gets to within 10 metres. Hull in good attacking position. Sharp has gone to acting half. But he knocks on from there. And then that's the sort of error you can't afford. And John Sharp was winning great form and has made a good start to this game. Guilty of that basic error on this occasion. Danny Dive, I think it is, receiving treatment in the middle of the field. Looks like a leg injury. But it wasn't just that the attack was more promising there from Hull. It was their defence in the previous set of six that was also good. It was pressure on the Warrington forwards that led to Mike Gregory spilling that ball. So Warrington should have it. Forster off the wing. Taken by Doyle. Good tackling by Jeff Doyle. Puts him to the floor. Eight metres from his own line. Ellis. Myler. Makes yards. Thirstfield runs from acting halfback. Taken by Greenwood. Mackey. Heitzel, good tackle again, this time John Sharp down low, Mike Dixon over the top. Bob Jackson, not too many yards made, the whole defence moving up quickly. The last tackle, Warrington playing it 40 metres from the line, it's gone back to Myler for the, the clearance kick, he gets around John Sharp. Gary Nolan can stand his ground, takes it well. And runs it back to 30 metres. Ball comes loose. And a penalty given against Warrington for stealing the ball. 
Certainly I couldn't see in there whether the ball was stolen or not, but uh, out it came. And I think with uh, three tacklers onto the fullback on the first tackle, any 50-50 decisions are going to go with the, the player in possession if the ball comes loose. Greg Mackey, as always, calling instructions to his Warrington side. He does marshal this team extremely well. Hasler. Tim Street just gets over the halfway line. Good ball from Dixon to McNamara. The flat ball missing out a player. Nobody there for Dixon, but he finds some space up the middle. Great run by Dixon. Has to almost dodge the referee as well. Gets to within 10, 11 metres. That came because there was nothing on holding down against Derbyshire. And Hull have the penalty. Steve McNamara being called across with the referee. I think uh, Jim Smith wants a word with him to querying a decision a few moments ago. But Paul Eastwood will have this kick, not too difficult. It's just to the right of the posts. It's going to place the ball about 13 metres out. It's in the middle of that rather sticky mud. But that penalty reward for some uh, fairly consistent Hull attack over the last five, ten minutes. 25 minutes gone. Hull 10 nil behind. Can Paul Eastwood open the account? The answer to that is that he can. Hull's first points, Paul Eastwood penalty after 25 minutes. Warrington 10, Hull 2. So interesting how Dixon's made yards from acting halfback, getting between the Warrington markers. So it's going to be Harris to restart for Warrington. Gary Nolan palms the ball, he goes backwards, Steve McNamara runs it back. And we'll play it about 15 metres from his own line, Mike Dixon is acting half. Sharp the decoy, Eastwood the runner. Oh, and loses it though, that's exactly what Hull can't afford to have. Good tackle by Greenwood on Bateman. Derbyshire. McNamara with a ball and all tackle, Warrington crowd thought it was high, referee says no. Tightsall. Seemed to be quite running with the same power that he did early in the game. Mackey. Ellis. Fumbles but holds on. Ellis the master of the long pass. Shelford runs at the defence. Skips around from there. He's a dangerous man. Goes to Bob Jackson. He loses it. Gary Nolan runs it out. Good run by Gary Nolan. The whole defence was opened up again by simply by Shelford. Probing around the rock area, taking it first receiver, very close to the play of the ball. Warrington forwards back him up. And he's always looking to pop the ball between the tacklers. John Sharp gets over the 30 metre line. Danny Dive. Well met by Mike Gregory, but he gets it away to Hasler. Out to Street, Street to McNamara, can't get the last pass out to Danby though. It's the last tackle, hold five metres short of halfway. Paul Eastwood kicks onto Harris's wing. And he takes it about six metres from his own line. He goes across the field, thinks about the pass to Penny and then goes on his own. He's taken by Doyle and Hasler. Penny, ball goes loose. Play on, says the referee. The ball did go back. And now Derbyshire. Certainly been willing. Not the biggest uh, forward in the world, but 
Runs very hard. Now Teitzel. Oh, the ball comes out, though. Three hull tacklers, but they didn't take the ball. Out to Harris. Harris steps, almost steps through uh, Sterling. Warrington crowd appealing for a trip. I couldn't see what happened. I thought that really the, the player fell over the man, really. But here's the danger man, Shelford, who I think is the increasing influence in this match. Mackey kicks through. Gary Nolan takes it and gets to within 10 metres of halfway. Eastwood. Taken by Mike Gregory and Alan Bateman. Dive. Almost uh, thinks, gets the ball away to Sterling, but taken by Harris. Mike Dixon somehow loses control. Those situations can occasionally be dangerous. This time, uh, Teitzel does get back to take him. Hasler. Tim Street. Street almost thinks of getting it away. It's the last tackle. Hull have only made about 15 metres on this set. Des Hasler kicks behind Harris, who fumbles the ball in a safe direction for Warrington. Cross field again. Oh, the ball comes loose, but it's space for Myler. Oh, and Myler runs through, and here looks like a try for Forster as Hull were hesitating in defence, and Forster scores. To the right of the post, to the left of the post, rather. Good Warrington try, but really Hull. Again, that, that problem of the, the Warrington backs going across field and opening up space as the Hull defence on the far side really lacking concentration then. And Myler, who really didn't seem to be a lot on when he took the ball, just carried on up the more or less a straight line and he was allowed to go through it. And Warrington, after a period in which you probably be fair to say that Hull have had the better of the last quarter of an hour come back with a try from that started 10 12 meters from their own line certainly Harris I think took a bit of a risk with a pass and it was rather a rather a fortunate one in some ways and that he bounced on the floor but once Milo got the ball there still didn't seem to be much on and Mark Forster picks up the try been in good try scoring form recently, hat trick against Leeds a few weeks ago. And I think that's uh, it's his 100 career tries for Warrington. Well, as Harris prepares to take this conversion to put Warrington 16 2 ahead, which he does. Hull have made the changes. Dean Busby has come on and Rob Nolan and off have gone Russ Walker and Brandon Greenwood. And Warrington also have made a change. Mark Hilton is on for Tightsall. Well, after all that good work and after coming fighting their way back into the game, all concede. Well, not a soft try, but certainly one that you feel the defence ought to have blocked out. Derbyshire runs it back. John Sharp, good solid tackle. Here's Hilton into the fray. Young 19-year-old prop, getting regular outings in the Warrington first team. Bob, uh, this is Mike Gregory. Bob Jackson taken by Sharp now Hilton again the last tackle Warrington just short of halfway and a kick pulled right back to the into that 10 meter area that's a good return from the from the kickoff. Uh, 
Warrington worked the ball up the middle through the forwards and then finished off with a first class touch finder. Well, Steve McNamara has gone to the front row. Warrington backs well offside. Shelford out before the ball had uh, come from the scrum and Bateman and Ellis encroaching within the area of the referee deigned and so if Paul Eastwood has the the penalty makes about 12 15 meters perhaps with that and now Mike Dixon to restart. Hasler. Street on the drop off from Paul Sterling. 10 metres short of halfway. McNamara makes the halfway line. Doyle. Sharp. John Sharp into the Warrington half. Doyle, Hasler, I think he was looking for a run around, but he has to come back to Dixon instead. Dixon is taken by Hilton. McNamara shows the ball. Last tackle, we'll hold 30 metres out. Doyle, out to Sterling, but he can't handle it. Warrington have it. And Rob Nolan makes the tackle. Thursfield in the unaccustomed position of running it from first receiver. Mike Gregory, Bob Jackson, certainly returning to top form this Aussie in his uh, mid 30s now, but been a great servant to Warrington over the years. And Hilton, who looks to be playing the same mould, no doubt a successor to Jackson in the longer term. Ellis. Drops off Bateman. Good tackle by Street. And now Shelford. Cross field opening up the defence. Danby holds on to Derbyshire. It's the last tackle. Warrington playing it 40 metres out. Shelford looks for a space on the short side. Nice kick into the space. Paul Eastwood does well, reads it well, goes back and covers up. Gary Nolan. Gary Nolan, good run by Nolan. Fine game, it's Gary Nolan at fullback. Street, but the ball given away to Ellis. Warrington back in possession. Bob Jackson, tackled by Busby. 12 metres out. Mackey takes on the defence, skips past. And breaks through the tackle of Gary Nolan to score. And went through a gap a mile wide there, really. I don't think he could believe it. But Greg Mackey, who, of course, has orchestrated so much of the attack from first receiver, varying his options there, throwing the dummy, going on his own, getting between two hull forwards, and then spinning out of Gary Nolan's tackle to cross the line. And really, Hull in some defensive disarray. It's been a strange performance by all at times, especially in the Warrington half, they've tackled well and held the Warrington forwards, but there have been some really bad lapses and Warrington are the sort of side who can punish you for them. And that takes Warrington up to 20 points with Harris's kick to come. Uh, Harris unsuccessful this time pushes the ball across the post but it's uh, been a great half for Warrington 20 points to 2 lead and although Hull certainly have competed pretty well it's going to be taken by Ellis again and again Derbyshire 
And again, very solid hull defence. Sharp, Dixon and Dive. Like running into a brick wall. Forster. Hilton. Take my McNamara. John Sharp. Ellis. Tackled by Dixon. Street coming over the top. Paul Sterling. Taken by Ellis, I think it is under there. Hasler. Rob Nolan. We'll play 10 metres short of halfway. Dean Busby. Nice step by Busby, gets over the halfway line. Street. Oh, desperately, Hull need a try. Doyle. Dive. Turns to support, but nobody there. The last tackle. Hasler. Chips through to the corner. Forster is able to let it go. I'm not sure if he deliberately... Oh, that one, the smile on his face. I think he intended to play that and and didn't make contact. It's just as well for him he didn't. Otherwise, it would have been the dropout from another post. So, virtually on half-time here. And the scoreline, very disappointing one from a whole point of view. 20 points to two down. Mark Foster again uh, doing his circus act, juggling this time with the ball before he makes it safe. Mike Gregory. He plays it, 32 out from his own line. Hilton. Street and Sharp in at the tackle. Bob Jackson. Derbyshire hitting the ball up face. Good tackle by Busby. Warrington just inside the whole half. It's the last tackle. And it comes back to Mackey for the kick. Onto Paul Eastwood's wing, and he'll let it go into touch just inside the 20-metre area. But, uh, as the scrum goes down, full possession. How we could do with a an 80-yard try from from Hull. Gary Nolan put down on the 20-metre line. Danby goes to acting half-back. Ball wrestled away, I think, from his... Yes, there's got to be a penalty, that. Myler interfering there as um, full player got to his feet. And the referee, with the assistance of the touch judge, gives the penalty. Doesn't make too many yards there. Hasler, Street. Worked hard without really breaking the line, Tim Street. Busby. Up to the halfway line. Yes, and that's right. Dean Busby trying to get to his feet. Oh, well, he's given a penalty against Busby, but he, he's trying to get to his feet pretty quickly, but you can't have a Warrington player's holding you on holding on to you. Hard penalty that I think. Once the player's tackled, he's entitled to get to his feet as quickly as he can. And the reason he couldn't, though, was because he was being held down. Hilton. Strong boy. It's into the 20-metre line, and that's the last action of the half, and a very, very good half for Warrington. The league leaders going in here with a 20 points to two interval lead over Hull. And uh, a side with a lot of pace, scored uh, two of their tries from long distance. And uh, the youngsters in the backs really enjoying this one. Hull 20 points to two down at the interval. Really 
That's going to be a terribly difficult task for them in the second half. We'll be back for that half very shortly. Greg Mackey leading out the Warrington side for the second half. Been one of the main torturers of the whole defence in the first half. Of course, um, as a former Hull player, former Hull skipper, he'll uh, delight in that role. I don't think uh, since he left Hull, came here at Warrington at the beginning of last season, had a poor game against Hull yet. And of course, it's some while since uh, Hull defeated Warrington, rather like Castleford now, one of these sides that uh, seem to have great difficulty in beating. And at 20 points to two at half time, you really can't see it happening today. But uh, we said that against Castleford, and what a second half we had. But it's going to take something remarkable again today as Harris kicks off, taken by Gary Nolan. Busby. Good chase by Warrington. Dunby. Driven back by Mike Gregory and Greg Mackey. Uh, Kevin Ellis, rather. Now Steve McNamara. Ball goes loose. Warrington in supreme attacking position again. Nine metres from the whole line. Mackey. Mackey runs at the defence himself. Tackle by Doyle. Shelford. Ellis. Penny. Well tackled this time. Busby and Danby. Now Derbyshire. 11 metres away. Now Hilton. Tackled by Street. The last tackle, Warrington, seven metres out. Comes back to Mackey. Shelford trying to open it up. Jackson, ball comes loose. Hull have it. And uh, knock on by Rob Nolan. Taking the ball, a bit unfortunate that. So Warrington have the head and ball at the scrum. Chance to put the pressure on again. The whole defence held up pretty well in that set of six. Mike Dixon needing attention. I think he's got some mud in his eye. Not getting much sympathy from the Warrington crowd. Both sides, of course, um, need the league points today for different reasons, but uh, also both of them involved in very lucrative, very exciting-looking Challenge Cup ties next weekend. Warrington at Leeds, and Hull, of course, at home to Wigan. Mackey has the ball from the scrum. Long ball to Ellis. Ellis to Penny. Paul Eastwood in off his wing. Does well, brings the full-back down. Good, typical Paul Eastwood tackle, timed that well. Ellis, trying to get away from acting half, 12 metres out, Mackey, Mackey comes back again, chips through, Rob Danby will make it dead, but Greg Mackey causing all sorts of problems by checking, coming back inside, running at the defence himself, and the whole defence pressed the panic button, he does it very, very well. Scored a try at the end of the first half with uh, that play, and he's seen that weakness. I think we'll see him try to exploit it again. Paul Eastwood drops out, and Warrington get the ball back. This will be their third set of six in and around the whole 20 metre line. Tackled by Sharp and Busby. Thirstfield at acting half back. Here comes Hilton. The penalty against Street or McNamara, is it, for a high tackle? Warrington have the penalty. And Harris comes across to have a shot at goal. 20 metres out, just to the left of the post.
So it's uh, 20 points to two. This to put Warrington 20 points ahead. Strikes it well, two more points. Warrington, good start to the second half, 22 to two. And Paul Eastwood to kick off again. Taken by Ellis. Dixon and Sharp make the tackle. Here comes Mike Gregory. Good tackle again by Dixon. And again, John Sharp over the top. Hilton again, Sharp the tackle. That's the third he's made. Mackey th throws the dummy, runs himself. Done with the inside ball to Bob Jackson. Bob Jackson again. Tackled uh, short of the halfway and on the 10 metre line. Myler with the kick. Into Paul Eastwood's wing. Taken by Gary Nolan. That's a good kick. And the Warrington chase, extremely effective there. Eastwood. Tackled on the 20 metre line. John Sharp. Tackled by Thirstfield. He's a real unsung hero of this Warrington side. Works very, very hard. Good distributor from the Rook. Diva dropped off by Hasler. Street. Oh, that looked a bit high. Probably as high as Steve McDemorris. Back to Eastwood for the kick. Drives Warrington back to within eight metres of the line. He's taken by Penny there. Penny takes on Rob Nolan. Nolan makes a good tackle. Bateman acting half back to Harris. Just stepping and dancing in the sand. Mackey. Shelford. Takes on Busby. As we Eastwood bring him to ground. Hilton, well wrapped up by the whole tacklers. Again, Dixon and Sharp heavily involved. Jackson again, Sharp and Street this time. A good all work John Sharp's getting through. Back to Myler for the kick. Onto Paul Sterling's wing, puts it over the top and into touch, rolls into touch about 12 metres from the Warrington line. Well, Rob Myler's prov pro proving to be a very capable deputy for Jonathan Davis in the field kicking position. Busby. Almost uh, gets the ball away to Nolan. Mike Dixon from acting half. Hilton holds on to him. Hasler, Doyle, Sharp. Street, finds a bit of space, Tim Street. So nobody on his shoulder. Hasler. Hasler gets into trouble, but he gets the ball away to McNamara. It's got to go, though. Doyle. Long ball, taken by Eastwood, puts up the bomb. And it's taken by Myler. Myler knocked down by Paul Eastwood on the 20 metre line. Here's Harris.
Mike Gregory. Warrington crowd getting a bit upset by the whole tackling, but uh, referee not seeing much in it. Steve McNamara now doing a big stint. Big hit there by Doyle. Ball comes loose. Penalty against Hull for stealing the ball. The tackle. So again, good work undone. And uh, Warrington making good yards from the kick. Playing with a lot of confidence. Mackey, Jackson head down. Shelford drops off Bateman, that's a good tackle. Tim Street, Jeff Doyle over the top. Again the short side, Mike Gregory. Put to floor on the 20-meter line, just inside it. Mackey dummies the drop off to Shelford, but gives the second drop off to Penny. Penny tackled about 30 metres away. Mackey kicks through to the corner. I think that's too deep. It is. I think that's the first misjudged kick we've had from Greg Mackey. But he can afford to misjudge a kick or two with the score of 22-2. Here's Steve McNamara. Hasn't yet found his top form since coming back from injury, Steve McNamara. Out for about six weeks, and this is his third or fourth match back. Hasler calls the short side. Gary Nolan. To the te uh, ten metres short of halfway. Hasler. Tim Street. Just about makes the halfway. John Sharp. Doyle. Chips over the top, Jeff Doyle. It's going to be taken by Myler. Bit of room in front of him if he gets away. Mike Dixon makes the tackle and he had to. Plays the ball to himself and makes another 10, well, makes another 20 metres. Gary Nolan. Penalised for not clearing the tackle. And uh, Warrington now start again on the 20 metre line, another set of six. Hilton. Tackled by Busby and Danby. Jackson. Ten metres away. Mackey is standing to the left. It comes to Shelford, who comes up the middle. Gets it all the way to Thursfield. Mackey, has he gone the wrong way? Maybe he has. Tackled eight metres away. Straight in front. Mike Gregory. He's about seven metres away. Mackey. Ellis. Ellis. Out to Bob Jackson. Ball goes in front of him. Oh, certainly a two to one then. But Bob Jackson unable to handle the ball. Perhaps just a little bit behind him. Myler is receiving some attention in midfield, having his uh, boots strapped up. Mike Gregory going off. On comes David Elliott, the Cumbrian, take his place in the second row. Mike Gregory getting good reception, a very hard working game. Referee not ready for the scrum. He, they'd actually gone together, ready to have the ball put in.
Eastwood. Diva. Boy to Busby. Now straight. Hasler. Out to Doyle. Danby. Nobody outside him. Paul East would have come inside. John Sharp. Out to Rob Danby. Does well. But he's wrestled back. Strong Warrington defence. Eastwood, a big long kick. I think it's going to roll dead, just too long. And Warrington have the restart on the 20 meter line. Danny Deva has gone off. Russ Walker returns. But uh, the game certainly drifting away from hole 22 2 and really haven't made any impression in the second half. Looked like scoring. Warrington have. But most of the pressure, the whole defence has stood up pretty well so far. But Warrington considerably quicker in in uh, organisation and pace than Hull at the moment. Shelford kicks ahead, nice bit of variety again. Ball goes loose, picked up by Gary Nolan, who's done well today. Gets up to the halfway line. Greg Mackey holding on to him. Gary Nolan wouldn't release him. The referee gives the penalty. So Paul Eastwood to kick to the main stand. Mike Dixon to restart. Sharp. Street. Big run by Street, but he's plenty of Warrington tacklers over there. Does well to stay in. Plays it on the 20 meter line. Hasler. Steve McNamara. Hasler. Throws the dummy. He's going to be in trouble here if he manages to stay in. Sterling. He gets the 10 metre line, but really holds and still not threatening. Two tackles to go, I think. Short side play, Sharp. Dixon. Dixon almost wriggles through. Plays it four metres out. Hasler chips through, but it's taken by Penny. And he runs away. McNamara misses the tackle on him. Great run by Lee Penny. Paul Eastwood in chase. Still going Lee Penny over the halfway line. Eastwood sticks to his man and makes the tackle. But well, that just about typifies the game. Hull working hard to create something in attack. Really without threatening the Warrington line. And Warrington break away 50, 60 metres. Shelford. Elliott. Oh, gets out of the tackle of Busby. Gets within eight metres. Taken down by Danby. Warrington on the attack. Mackey. Derbyshire, Bateman, of whom we've seen really very little in this match. The Warrington backs has been the least conspicuous. Mackey for the corner onto Eastwood and an offside penalty given against Forster for interfering Paul Eastwood, challenging him for the ball in an offside position. Russ Walker, tackled by Derbyshire and Ellis, street this time. Short side, 
Sharp, Hasler, Doyle. Nice bit of play though. But, uh, Doyle taken by Derbyshire. Street. Taken by Hilton. Walker, Hasler. Nice ball to Doyle. And back to Rob Nolan. Last tackle. Ball just inside the Warrington half. McNamara goes for the kick, which is going to make touch in the corner. I'm not sure that's what he intended, but it certainly the effect of it was pretty good. And so the scrum will go down 10 metres from the Warrington line, the Warrington head and ball. Again, rather lost a bit of direction in the second half. Warrington with this uh, big lead. And uh, Paul unable to make much ground on it. Well, I said we haven't seen much of Bateman, but he's almost got away, though. Gary Nolan does well. Now Ellis. Hilton. Now Jackson. Last tackle as Warrington played eight metres short of halfway. Back to Myler, who's kicked well. And now he's kicked very well. That's a great kick. Better, much better than going into touch. Now, were they. That's going to be a penalty against uh, Forster and Ellis for dragging Gary Nolan into touch. Laps in concentration of Warrington players part there it was a great kick by Myler. Teasing the whole defenders with this touchline looks really been much easier for the whole defenders for Gary Nolan and Paul Eastwood if it had gone out. Having to retrieve it three or four metres from your own line and finding a wall of defenders in front of you. Russ Walker runs it up. Hasler. Busby, hit by Elliott and uh, finished off by Thursfield. Gary Nolan. Short side. John Sharp. Oh, making the yards well enough here, but there's no real no penetration beyond that. Hasler certainly trying to inject himself into the game. Rob Nolan. Put to the floor, five metres inside his own half. It's the last tackle. McNamara, lofted kick to the... which just bounced in the field of play and goes out. So Warrington certainly look as if they're taking an important step on that road to the challenging for the league championship. They should certainly retain top position tonight. As Harris throws the dummy and tries to kick his way through. And they've still got Wigan to play at Wigan and Bradford here at Wilderspool. So although uh, they've got a lot of work to do, they can still decide the championship really by their own hands. Great ball by... First of all, uh, over and here goes Forster. Great tackle by Des Hasler. Stops him man and ball, eight metres out. Lovely ball by Kelly Shelford in that previous play. Mackey, first field. Good tackle by Hasler again. Read that well. Mackey, Shelford, long ball. Bateman, it's out to Bob, Bob Jackson who can't handle. And if he had, he'd had a walk in. Paul Sterling is hurt, taking up ball. Certainly took a knock there. They're looking quite a tired side.
been under pressure most of this match. Certainly the first half had a spell when they threatened to get back into the game, but Warrington uh, certainly had the whip hand. Hasler, tackled by Shelford. Dixon from acting half. It's within seven metres of halfway. Last tackle. Kicks through behind Shelford in front of Penny, but Shelford takes it. Nice ball out of Penny. Penny knocks on, I think. Certainly would have been a running chance there. Warrington perhaps getting a little bit casual. Hard to keep your concentration and quite a long way ahead. Tim Street is coming off for Hull. And back comes Brandon Greenwood. And for Warrington, Bob Jackson going off. He's got a, he'll get a great reception. And on comes Craig Teitzel. So Brian Johnson has certainly worked his forwards around. And then Teitzel, Hilton and, and Jackson has got three tremendously strong props. Paul Eastwood taking the ball from Hasler. Doyle and Sharp getting in each other's way, but John Sharp picks up. Busby. Hasler. Sharp. Sterling the decoy. Greenwood. Hasler. Steve McNamara. Last tackle. Puller just inside the Warrington 20 metre line. Hasler chips through. Penny has to chase back and makes the ball safe over the dead ball line. So Warrington, I think probably for the first time in the match, having to drop out from under their own posts. That's perhaps an indication of how little Hull have challenged the Warrington try line in the game because if you're uh, regularly putting pressure on the opposition try line. There ought to be quite a few kicks of that sort as you probe with the with the bomb or with the uh, chip throw. Dean Busby, nice step. Beats the tackle of Hilton. Taken by Teitzel. Dixon from acting half. It's inside the Warrington 20 metre line. Can Hull get what at this stage would be a little more than a consolation, McNamara. Hasler, Hasler takes them on, but just taken. Greenwood from acting half. Three tries in the last two matches to Brandon Greenwood. Hasler goes on his own. Does Hasler, can he make it? He does. Well, sheer persistence from Daz Hasler. Running from acting half back, an angled run across the face of the defence and just enough strength to make the line. I think he put the ball down on the line, but that's perfectly okay. Des Hasler scores Hull's first try. It's come rather too late in the game to have any effect on the scoreline. But uh, reward for persistency from Des Hasler. So Paul Eastwood with his uh, second goal shot of the afternoon. Should be a regulation two points. No problems at all. 22 to 8 is the score. So that's given the scoreline a little bit more respectability from the whole point of view. But Warrington have, have looked the part today. Very strong defence. Block up the middle pretty well and... Uh, 
a lot of pace in the box. And a good thing from Warrington point of view is that the, some of their um, backs are really very young in years. So the better to come, thinks of Harris and Penny and Rob Myler. Future looks bright here. All moving the ball across. Jeff Doyle. Nolan. Rob Nolan after Rob Dunby. Dunby. Taken by Myler. McNamara. The last tackle. Hull 35 out. On their own line. Hasler. Hasler. Out to Greenwood. Greenwood with a bit of space, but a good tackle. Good tackle there by Bateman. Well, a nice bit of variety by Des Haslow, and the last tackle flooded out the long ball, and there seems to be a running chance for Brandon Greenwood. Well closed down by Bateman. Hilton. He's impressed since coming on. Now Teitzel. Mackey. Ellis gets away from Walker. Russ Walker covers across well, takes him down, assisted by Busby. Shelford, cross field, looking to open up a gap. Went behind his own man there. Referee th perhaps thought about the obstruction, didn't give it. Harris, nice ball to him. And Midmiler, well blocked by Paul Eastwood. And Rob Nolan comes in to complete the tackle. It's the last tackle. Warrington are six metres inside the whole half. As Mackey will kick and takes a safe touch just inside the whole 20 metre line. 22-8 then. Closing in on the last. About eight minutes to go. Dean Busby. Eastwood. Tackled by Kelly Shelford. John Sharp. Again, Shelford in the tackle. Derbyshire. His tackle count must be enormous. McNamara. Hasler. McNamara. Greenwood. Nice ball to Sterling, but he can't handle it. And uh, Warrington player in a tackle on uh, Sterling. I think the ball had probably it lost control of it by then. He certainly didn't have any chance to take it again. So Warrington in possession with Hilton. Forty meters out. Mackey. Derbyshire. John Sharp and Mike Dixon again in the tackle. This is Elliot. Busby and Dixon this time. Short side. Shelford looking to overload it. Nice play. Good tackle by Eastwood on uh, Myler. Did enough to put him off on the Paul Sterling's wing, and he drops it. That's well, certainly the area. Well taken by Gary Nolan. <clears throat> Derbyshire. Shelford again looking to exploit the short side. This time shows the ball, goes on his own, gets within eight, nine metres. Mackey. Mackey drops off Teitzel. Great tackle. Good hit, John Sharp, Russ Walker. 
Mackie again probing around that ruck area. Nice ball. Comes back to Title. Back to Elliot. Elliot held up on his back. The referee won't give it. Well, no, that must have been a tremendous tackle on there. Des Hasler, the man getting up. What a great bit of work by Des Hasler. I think it would have been rather fortunate try in many ways because bounced off. Bounced between two Warrington players off the chest of one into the hands of another. But Warrington have possession again from the scrum. Ellis. Taken by Doyle. Good defence by Hull. Plenty of spirit in the whole defence in the second half, just they haven't been able to create anything in attack, really. Derbyshire, within eight metres. Mackey, can Hull withstand this? Shelford, Myler, again, eight metres away. Shelford, Shelford throw, shows the ball. Des Hasler makes the tackle, John Sharp underneath. First field. Mackey, Mackey, long ball. They've got the numbers here if Derbyshire can get it out. Not a great ball to Harris on the wing. Oh, and Walker in with a tackle on, uh, on Penny. The referee consulting the touch judge. Touch judge John Glover on the far side runs in. So Russ Walker come in with a forearm, according to such judge. That tackle on Penny. The referee having spoken to Russ Walker now speaks to him again. And Paul Sterling comes up with possession for Hull. Well, that's been great Hull effort in defence there, because um, Warrington, I think, had three consecutive sets of six and couldn't, and even with this big lead and not having scored a try in the second half, they couldn't, uh, couldn't get over. Comes, comes Rob Nolan. Mike Dixon, trying to get away from acting half, makes a few yards. Hull have defended well in the second half, but most of the game has been played in the whole half. Hasler chips through, the ball comes to uh, Warrington. Teitzel, well, they're ambling onto the ball this time rather than hitting it at pace. He plays it on the 30-metre line. Hilton, looking to set something up. Mackey is at first receiver. But it's Shelford who takes it. Cross field. Elliott, tackle on the 20-metre line. Mackey, Mackey looking for a drop off, but has to switch direction to Penny. Penny, taken by Hasler, another good set of six for Hull, good defence, but can they hold out on the last? Mackey goes to the air, to Gary Nolan, plenty of traffic for Gary Nolan, and he drops it. Warrington will have six again, or will they? No, Mike Dixon comes up with possession for a very grateful Hull defence. Eastwood attempts to run away from acting half. John Sharp. Greenwood. But, uh, unable to work any space for... Paul Sterling, the last tackle. Sterling from acting half. Rob Nolan manages to manufacture a kick and clears halfway. It's 
It's going to give Penny quite a bit of space to move. But he's nicely taken by Dean Busby. And uh, Harris, again, causing problems. Teitzel. Looking to find a runner. And he plays it 40 out. Ellis. Again, the whole defence standing firm. I think we're into injury time. Mackie chips through. And pick Gary Nolan picks up. So it's been a really tremendous spirited defensive effort by Hull in the last 10 minutes because they've been under constant pressure and they haven't cracked. Paul Eastwood running the ball out. John Sharp. Gets the 40 meter line. Hasler. Danby. Almost makes the break. High tackle given against Warrington player. I think it's going to be too late to make too much difference now. McNamara keen to put the ball into touch. She does. He gets uh, good yardage on that. But we'll restart just within the Warrington 40 metre line. Russ Walker. Here comes Steve McNamara. And that's the final play, and Steve McNamara seems to have copped an injury in the last play. Getting to his feet very gingerly. Well, that could be bad news for Hull. Let's hope not. For the cup tie against Wigan coming up next week. Steve McNamara in the last tackle of the game seems to have hurt his knee or ankle or something. But um, the players shaking hands at the end of this game and the league leaders, Warrington, maintaining their position at the top with a convincing display, all the damage really done in the first half when Warrington scored uh, four good tries, 20 points to two out at the interval. Hull have competed well in the second half, scored one good try from Des Hasler through his perseverance. But Warrington comfortably the winners here by 22 points to eight.